Welcome to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths. Christianity is controversial, isn't it? <laughs> Especially in this culture. I mean, when you talk about Christianity or you see people take a moral stance or they talk about what it means to be committed to Christ and, and we practice biblical principles in a secular world, we know that Christianity is controversial. Jesus talked about that, believe it or not. He said this when it came to specific Jewish families and what would happen when people are converted to Christianity, what would happen in Jewish families? Listen to what he says. Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring, bring peace, but a sword. Now you think about that. What did the angels say on the night that Jesus was born? Uh, glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, goodwill toward men. So we're not talking about the peace that is ours through faith in Jesus, where Jesus is a reconciler and he makes peace with God the Father through his finished work at the cross. That's not what he's talking about here. What he's talking about is when people are converted to Christianity, it brings division in households. He goes on to say, verse 35, for I have come to set a man against his father and a daughter against her mother and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. This is what was happening in the early church. People that were Jewish folks that were adhering to the Jewish traditions and Jewish faith, they heard about Jesus, they recognized that he was Messiah, they saw that indeed he was the one who fulfilled those prophecies, and what did they do? They converted to Christianity, and what kind of impact did that have on their families? Well, if the families didn't believe that Jesus was Messiah, guess what? There was division, there was hostility, there was ostracization, if you will. There were people who were saying, we're not going to associate with you anymore. You're not going to be in our family anymore because you believe in Jesus of Nazareth as Messiah. This happened over and over and over again in the early church. And it happens today too. There are many people that I know who converted to Christianity or maybe have been Christians all their life and the other folks in their family, maybe husbands or wives or kids or grandkids, have not followed suit. And they're almost on an island, those folks are. They feel isolated and alone because the people that they thought would convert to Christianity haven't. And as a matter of fact, the people that have not converted to Christianity make fun of and isolate the person that is a believer. It happens over and over and over again in families. Now, if you're listening to this, and you have a husband or a wife or kids or grandkids or friends and everyone around you is a believer, all your family members and even extended family members are believers and Christianity has not been a wedge in your household, count your blessings. That is a rare thing. But if you have a household where there's division because some people are believers and some people are not, what do you do? Well, two things. Number one, you continue to witness for the Lord Jesus Christ and you continue to live out your faith. And secondly, you pray that the Holy Spirit would break down their stubborn, resisting will and bring them to faith, whether it's through you or some circumstance in life or maybe somebody else that you never can even imagine would somehow intervene and bring them to faith. That's what you can pray for, okay? But if you do have family members and everybody in the family is a believer in Jesus, oh, thank God, that's such a rarity. And you should bend your knee before the Lord tonight and say, thank you that all my kids, my wife, my husband, my grandkids, thank you, God, that they're all a believer in you and in your son. Oh, man. Jesus said it. He said, I didn't come to bring peace in individual Jewish households. I came to bring a sword. In other words, when people convert to Christianity, it's going to create problems in families. And you know what? He was right. And the same thing is still happening today. I pray for anybody here that's listening to this podcast today whose family members are isolated and away from the faith. I want to pray for them right now. Let's go ahead and do that. Heavenly Father, 
I know that some of the people that are listening to me have family members, maybe husbands, wives, kids, grandkids, aunts, uncles, whoever it is, the Lord, that are not a part of your family, who for whatever reason have rejected the truths of the gospel. Oh Lord, do whatever it takes through whatever means necessary, through whomever you choose to break down their stubborn, resisting will through the power of the Holy Spirit and bring them to faith. And Lord, those who are listening to me right now who are isolated and alone because the people around them they love are not believers. Oh Lord, keep them strong. Keep them plugged into daily truths or the church or the word of God, obviously. Lord, keep them plugged in and strong and keep Help, help them keep feeding their faith, Lord, so that they can stand strong in the midst of adversity and give a positive witness for the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, I pray for anyone right now whose family members are not believers. Gird them up, strengthen them, hold them, and Lord, carry them through. And Lord, I pray at the end of their life, that this prayer might come to fruition, that those people who currently are outside the kingdom would be brought into the fold and somewhere down the road would confess Christ as Savior, Lord, Redeemer, and King. Lord, I pray this all for the sake and in the name of Jesus Christ, God's only Son, amen. Have a great day in Jesus. And that is today's Daily Truth. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth. <laughs>